Here, I'm going to cover resources that can help you stay up to date and learn more about the latest capabilities that are coming to Simulink. The first resource I want to cover, you can access right from MATLAB. In fact, if you go to the MATLAB home tab in the tool strip and select the add-ons dropdown, we can get add-ons. And in the add-on explorer, which is this interface that you see now, you get access to MathWorks toolboxes and products, but also you get access to toolboxes that are authored by the community. In fact, there are over 1,300 of them, as you see here. And there are also community apps, community simulink models, and a lot more. And you can apply multiple filters to find some of the models or toolboxes that somebody may be using for problems that you may be trying to solve. One thing I want to highlight as well is these filters by type. And I want to focus on the hardware support packages. And these hardware support packages are a key piece when you want to connect MATLAB and Simulink with specific hardware. And so you'll find support packages for low cost hardware options like Arduinos, Raspberry Pis, and a lot more. And for example, you can also filter by Simulink support packages. And you see the ones for uh, Parrot Mini Drones, Lego Mindstorms, and a lot more. So I encourage you to check out the add-ons for community toolboxes and models, and also for the hardware support packages. Another resource I want to highlight is the community. MATLAB and Simulink have a really strong community. And what you see here is the MATLAB central page. And from here, you can access MATLAB answers. So users just like you asking questions and the responses are given by other users and also for MathWorks experts. Here, you also have file exchange. It's just a big repository of community models and programs. And so if you're trying to solve a problem, this is a great place to check in case somebody already has solved that problem as well. And so that is MATLAB Central. And another resource I want to highlight is Simulink Online. So Simulink is now accessible right from your web browser. No need to download or install anything. So if you just web search Simulink Online, you will find this page. And if you click that and you're eligible, then you can actually uh, get access to it. So I already have this tab open. And what you see here is MATLAB from my web browser. And so I can just click on Simulink here. And what you see is the start page. So I can just open up a new model, my recently used models, or an example. At the same time, I will also want to highlight the on-ramps, specifically the Simulink on-ramp. So these on-ramps are free tutorials that take about two hours to complete. But again, you can save your progress and you don't have to do it all in the same sitting. So I encourage you to check those out. There are on ramps for Simulink, Stateflow, Simscape, Control Design, Deep Learning, and a lot more. So I have the on ramp open and I can show you that. And so here is the navigation page. So here's my progress. And right now I'm in the running simulations section. And what that looks like is like this I have three panes. The one on the left is the task that I have to complete. In the middle, I have the canvas where I do the work. And on the right, I get the assessment feedback that keeps me learning the product and making progress. So that is the on-ramp. Another resource I want to highlight is the release notes. And here is where you can get all the details about what is new in Simulink and all the other products. I'm already in the release notes for Simulink, and you see that you can filter by multiple categories. You can also apply text filters if you're interested in specific topics. And you can also expand or constrain your search to a specific range of releases. And so when you click on a specific release note, it tells you exactly the details about what's new in that area. So a great way for you to learn that. And the last thing I want to cover as well is the upgrade advisor. If you are working in Simulink, you do have access to a tool that helps you upgrade and make that process easier for you. So here's the documentation page for that. I encourage you to 
take a read. And you can use this function, or if you're using projects, which we covered today, you can also upgrade from that. And if you click on that link, it takes you to this page and it gives you more details about how to upgrade from a project. That is the last capability that I have for today. So now we can go back to our checklist and keep track of our progress. So we covered all of these. And at this time, I want to thank you for your time and for your attention.